and welcome to another episode of Adam's Legacy. My name is Katrina, and I'm super excited. I have already forgotten what happened in the last episode, despite having filmed it last night. Um, I've been pretty busy today with a bunch of stuff that I had to take care of in real life. Poo-poo. Uh, doctor's appointments, and I'm actually going to be getting rid of my internet and then replacing it with the same internet, but faster. So, yay being an adult. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the last time we left off, I believe... Okay, so we had the two babies with, um, oh god, let me sco uh, scooch in. So we had the two babies with Kilala, and we had another baby with Miana, and we have, um, Newt, who is the father of these two, and I don't want to play favorites, but I kind of already have one, uh, so I think Tavon will be the star of this side of the family, along with Wasp, who was recently named last time, and um, she's going to be kind of a wild card, I think, just because of, I just feel like she will be. And then we have Lysana, who's been chatting it up with Kane. And then we have Van Kunu over here, who's um, just been kind of exploring his area. Um, and over here, yes, we have our first person out. I really need to clear the area because this is bothering the crap out of me. Um, Isila, 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 I don't know. Larka, Fell, Fox, um... Reiko or Anna Reiko's rebirth. Uh, we have a lot of things happening, so let's let's uh, let's move on to the next day, and then we'll see if we can clear out a more definitive path towards the uh, the ports. Okay, here we go. Hey, and we're almost on uh, day fifty. <laughs> I'm sad that she's sick. Okay, well let's have you s actually let's have you scoot over here. Let's have her purr, and I'm just going to keep her purring. Maybe that'll do something, and she's going to move back. Oh, we got a bunny, okay. And Larka, I think you would stay here with your daughter. And hey, Fox is now officially full grown. He is the most powerful um, baby that we have on this side, and I think that Fel would be very happy. Um, Let's have him clear this area. That's really what I wanted to do. Oh, we need to gather more food. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, clear, clear. Um, where are the ports? They are up this way. So let's scoot you back. <gasps> There's a permanent nest. Beautiful. Okay, so that's what we're, we're going to do. We're going to have Larka scoot over here with Fel. I don't know if we're going to have them have one more baby, but I'll have her clear this. And we'll come back to them here in a little bit. All right. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Van Kunu, let's have you pick this up. We really want to get our food uh, back up and, and not in terrible shape. So let's... Nope! I thought that she was picking from the regular berry bush. I knew I should have zoomed in. This is what happens to you kids when you don't zoom in and double check. <sighs> okay. Well, let's have uh, Kane come over here and he can uh, take a swipe at that one. So that way we don't confuse it again. I know they don't grow back, but I don't really want to spend much more time over here. Um, so let's, let's just continue on. I'm <laughs> really mad. That, that just happened. All right, so, and then we have Kiroku. What are your immunity genes anyway? It's a little too soon to breed, you guys. We're really trying to keep it not so, um, not so heavy on the nichelings, but still try to gather food. It's hard to do, though, without having a million hands help, helping, though. Okay. Mmm... Yeah, this, I think this is going to be, I, I hate to say filler episode, but I really want to move them up. So let's have Miana move up. She has not so much time left, and neither does 
uh, Kilala. I think that we'll stop there though. Um, like I said, I don't want to grow our tribe too big. Um, I think she would move under this tree to kind of rest a little bit. And let's have her plop her nest down. And can you dig anywhere? That's, that's not really it. Uh, Newt, let's have your son come up north. Kirokir. I'm still taking name suggestions. Um, I really don't mind um, naming them after the fact. Hello, there's a Dodo Mingo. Okay, and that guy went away. So we have this annoying, re really annoying patch of grass. And let's have you move a little closer to your mother and your aunt just to make sure that you're keeping your, your kip safe. Let's have Wasp. I think now that she's escaped her father's grasp, would clear this for me because that's convenient. And then I'll have her scooch over here so we can clear this. There's another patch of grass over there. God. Uh, okay. Anything at all? Nope. I want you to stay there. And I want you to stay there. Are we out of moves? I really don't think that we have anything left. Uh, can you dig that up for me? Nope. Do you have anything that I can... Uh, nope. Nope. Alright, so let's go over here. We're going to take a nice close look at, I think, what will be Kilala's last baby. Oh, yay! Day 50. We've survived 50 days, guys. I'm excited. Here we go. What? Okay. And a son. A pretty son. <sighs> now I feel bad for saying that he's really ugly, but... Uh... Okay, Kiro Kiro, let's have you dig. And let's have you clear the area. I think that uh, Newt would be pretty happy. Um, did we clear that? There's a Dodomingo. And let's move you over here. Oh, there's a nest. That's why he was hanging around. That's a permanent nest. If we had just moved up a little bit, we wouldn't have had to waste our food. So let's have uh, Miana gather some food. Wasp is now fully grown. So let's have our little wild card. Oh, I love the fact that she can collect. Let's have her kind of buzz around over here, and she can collect some of the... Um, some of the nuts. I'm going to have Kilala over here. And let's have her scoop up her nest. And we have Tavon who can collect from the nut tree. That's funny because he's got poison fangs and he's ending up eating nuts. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is a fun way to um, spend your time. And I think Kane and Lysana are pretty happy together. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up having them breed. I feel bad that I <laughs> made Lysana um, actually eat from the poison berry bush, so I think she would be very grateful that Cain had uh, saved her. And let's have Van Kunu over here. He just really likes his berry bush, and maybe he kind of likes the solitude. And Kiroku's over here. He's a handsome male as well. He doesn't have that striped pattern, but that's okay. And Kali's had a good life. He and his son are just kind of hang hanging out. Um, let's see. Who else is... Oops, nope. We've already gone there. Oh, and we got another gene unlocked? I really should be paying more attention to these things. What is that? Hello? Okay, and I definitely know that that wasn't there before. So normal fertility, that's good. Because we do have an issue with Cain being infertile. And with, oops, with uh, Kali being infertile, which is interesting because we had so many babies. But I think that Seiko had pretty high fertility, so that was good. And now we can pass that along. All right, so Lala is over here and I think she'll just kind of gladly collect from this area. She'll just kind of pick these dry and 
Isila, she's over her cold, so she can come in with the family. She's got some healing magic on her from her purring. Mm, I don't want to have another baby. We don't have any food. Let's move Fox on there. Are these rocks just going to plague our family forever? Is that what's happening here? I'm starting to get upset. Is this a trick from Lilith? Is that not the way that we're supposed to go? Fel, I, oof, I need you to investigate a little further. He would be mad. I think he would want to make his family so strong that they could break apart these rocks. And I think that Reiko is starting to see what kind of an environment that she has brought herself into. And she's a little bit more of a gentle soul. So maybe she wouldn't be as... Um, as a, appreciative of that kind of lifestyle. Um, after all, she does have the nimble fingers and she only has the spiky body really for defense. So we'll have Larka kind of clear the way over here. She's always been our scout. Um, she's kind of been the quiet guide that balanced out fell. So let's go ahead and move on to the next day. I think I think we'll have Rekha hold on to that baby for a little bit longer. And here we go. Oh, another sneeze. She still has um, the sniffles over here, but I'm not seeing that... <gasps> Sickness bar climbed so much. You're so beautiful. Is Ray Ray? I love the spots. <laughs> she looks like a little green... Um, uh, giraffe, green giraffe, fox is B and home island immunity, and is, ri Ugh. we have enough to invite her, and I think that Larka would sense that she is passing soon, and she would want her son to have a mate, an unrelated mate, and even if we have to sacrifice a little bit of food... She has a digging pot and a deformed paw, so we're going to get rid of that. She's got cracker jar in her recessive genes. So nimble fingers for you. She is a spotty baby, so let's have her collect some grass in the area. And she would collect the grass around um, Larka because she's pretty grateful, I think. And let's have... Ana Lala, take a little bit of a precaution and head over to the side here. She doesn't want to get this new nicheling sick. So I think Fel and Larka, since it's going to be their final days pretty soon, I think I would really like them to maybe face against like a Baryena or something, something dangerous so that way... Um, Fell could pass on his gems to Fox, and he would see that the rest of the family would be taken care of in not a violent way, but he could see that they would be protected from the dangers of the outside world. So let's have him settle next to Larka and clear the area a little bit more too. Um, clear that. Can you pick up here, Miss Ela? Um, hmm, let's have Reiko move, maybe we can, yes, we can get that um, mole to move a little further away, and we'll go here, and let's get Fox to take that mole and Let's just say that he brings it to his father and mother as kind of like an offering, like, hey, I really appreciate everything you've done. And, I mean, despite the fact that... Oh, there's another cactus! Despite the fact that Fel and Larka led kind of a really weird roundabout life with um, their mother having having been kind of a source of a lot of trouble for the family, I think that Fel really cares about Adam's lineage 
continuing down the line and, and all that other stuff. So let's let's move on to this family here. We don't have any more babies because we're going to put a stop to that. Um, sorry, I don't know what kind of voice that was. And Kali would just, I think he would be content. This family doesn't really have any aspirations as far as... Um, heading off into a different direction or making it across vast expanses of water to um, to fulfill some kind of a destiny. But I know that some of his children were, um, I want to say raised, um, they were told a lot of stories about Adam and how important it was to go ahead and... Oh, let's pick up that free meat. Thank you, Dodo Mingo. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But I definitely think that this family was told some pretty good stories from a sneeze about Adam and his family and what it meant to Adam to find their way back to his home. And so we're going to try to maybe find some catalysts amongst these youngsters and see if they can't pull the family towards a more northern direction so we can try to meet up over here and eventually leave for the next island. Woo! All right, guys, I am going to go ahead and cut the episode here. I hope you... Ooh, let's get rid of all that blue stuff. I wanna, don't want it blocking the view. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope that you guys are enjoying the story that we're kind of weaving together, or... Oh, no, I don't like that. We, we have to gather more food. Okay, we'll just pick up another one of these. Uh, a few more of these. And, um... Yeah, don't forget, don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe and leave me some name suggestions because I, I, I like the random names that they kind of come up with sometimes with Lysana, but um, it's it makes it a little difficult to tell a story when there's so many of them uh, that don't have names and we can't really focus on them. Maybe in the future we'll focus on um, a smaller tribe size when we have... Um, a better grasp of where the story is going to take us. All right, guys. Uh, bye. <laughs>